Welcome everybody. We are so excited to review the XQ Artivism Challenge submissions and our most upvoted student artwork today with Brandon B. Mike Odoms. Yeah, I'm super excited to be able to be here to, to, to be a witness to all the amazing young artists that uh, took the time out to apply. So let's get into it. It's a it's a very direct and almost confrontational uh, image as the, the 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 subject is looking directly at the audience. Yeah, this is amazing. I'm, I'm on the body of the, the the subject. There is this story that the light is telling. There is light outside, but this figure is in a in a room alone. And I have so many questions, which I think is what great art should do. It it should it should require a certain level of of call and response. The choice of images Emily chose in the circle is a is a reflection of where we are. But then the idea of the the the, the small silhouette um, looking beyond is an example of what we hope um, that art does, which is allows us to imagine beyond. Blue and purple are some of my favorite colors to use when I paint because I love the way you can do portraits and skin tones as it relates to those colors. And what um, Jalen did here is exactly um, the way I would have hoped um, they would have done with this uh, color palette. This comes to life to me in a lot of different ways. And it's so important and it's so deep in terms of just the types of questions that, that this piece um, asks. And I feel like this is something that you can show a child and, and they can immediately understand what's being said. And to me, hands are the most difficult things to do as an artist. And so uh, I deeply appreciate those who do it well. Art sometimes can, it can be a thin line of, of, of celebrating or investigating. And I think that um, this piece could force the audience to, to, to navigate that conversation. Like if I purchase this, am I celebrating or am I investigating? This is one of those pieces that's hard to look away from, I think. But to me, I think it's interesting that these individuals are depicted as caricatures where you can clearly see from the work of the face that this artist is capable of, of, of producing um, more realistic based um, images. I love the way that Olivia um, sort of treated this idea of black power as a beautiful thing, as a delicate thing. You know, you see this idea of a fist and it does um, create tension. But then when you look at the rest of the figure, you see this delicacy, these colors. I really like this because this is something that I would see in a store or art gallery and, and, and be like, yo, I need this. Because I think it, it, it communicates a sort of narrative. I see myself reflected here. You know, I was that kid that was deeply curious about the the world that I lived in and, and, and why things were the way they were. So I was in those sections of the bookstore trying to understand race and understand class and all these things. Um, it gives me great confidence to know that, that these are the young people who are imagining a better future for all of us. And I can't wait to, to continue to, to, to see their growth and their trajectory as artists. Um, I know it's not easy to, to share your work as an artist, but I feel like everyone who took the time to share. Um, they had a lot to say and I learned a lot from it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful to be a part. Brandon, thank you so much for being in community with us today, for looking at our most upvoted selections. You can take a look at the art gallery for the XQ Challenge at xqchallenge.com.